Mage players, yes, I know the age-old question you have, should you use mages or should you use celestials? So I'm going to give you guys the answer in this video and explain why celestials generally are better for even ground-based mages for your account in Call of Dragons. Hello guys, yes, smash the like button and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Miss Sneaker. I am still doing Call of Duty content to try and teach you guys a little bit more about the game in case, or before it goes down, let's just say there. So let's go into today's video. It is all about mages, because you guys have been asking about mages and, you know, what's better, a celestial or just a vestal, right? Because they do have different attributes, I don't know if you know this, and honestly, there is one unit that does honestly give you a clear advantage in open fields. So let's go over that in today's video. One thing people underestimate is the difference between mage units and the celestial units. Because the thing is with mage units, no matter what faction you pick, they're going to have the exact same stats, but it's always going to be the different type of ability that's going to be tied to them that helps your mages out, right? So if you're a Vestal player, you know if you're going to equip it to any of your mages, you're going to get that HP bonus for your unit. So we can check that out quite simply by clicking on my little building here, hitting the little information icon, and you can see grants one boost to one surrounding friendly legion every three seconds while in battle, increasing their HP by 20%. Only it takes effect when the Legion is composed entirely of Vestals. And this effect can be stacked with other HP bonus effects. So it basically gives you just more HP, right? The thing is with the Satyrs, the Satyrs for Wilderberg, they grant you attack. And if you go and even check out the Spring Wardens, they will grant you defense, right? When we look at the Celestials special ability, they, they have a really cool one too. And this is what does separate them out a little bit, but not the reason why they're the best um when we look at their main attack they have flying magic obviously here here um as well as dealing more damage um magic damage and providing stronger buffs right so this is a really important thing for the match because when you go into divine will this is what's going to explain their new buff so they increase their own magic attack by five percent as long as your legion has not moved for four seconds while in battle and the thing is this sounds a bit crazy and people might be like do you know what this isn't good or might, some people might say do you know what? that's actually insane and i find that kind of funny because it's the same argument people make out why uh, toha is bad right toha needs to stand for five seconds and he deals damage well your celestial needs to stand for four seconds and you're getting this attack buff but that is still not the reason why they're, in well, better than your mages. So when we look at, actually, the differences into the units, the one dead giveaway that might you might have noticed, you might have noticed if you're a curious individual, is the magic attack modifier. So the magic attack for the Vestals and any of the mages is 220 on their um, match attack. Um... The march speed is 137, right? If we look over to the Celestials here, we will have the same amount of march speed, 137. We have over 251 magic attacks, meaning, in theory, if you just used your Celestials as a normal magic unit, you are going to be hitting harder, even on the ground, than the Vestals players, even if you don't trigger Divine Will, you just have naturally more base stats. And that's one of the things that people don't realize when it comes to mages, right? You can look at the magic defense and physical defense here between the two, and they are still so damn close, or if not, the same, right? Both have 199. We go over here, this is now 199 and 132 to 132. So they literally have all the same modifiers even the hp the only thing different is the magic attack so make sure if you are a mage player you might want to start training more celestials over the mages right mages might be good if you just want that support march maybe you know if you're running something like indus and Alloin, 
This might be the, the you know the heroes you use on purpose with the vessels to maximize or mid max your murder ball of three or four mage marchers in the future. And then your other marchers will be all celestials that deal insane damage. And yes, maybe one of them is a Bertrand and a Fear. That's a flying march. But you have access to Lilia and again Fear. You could do Lilia in this, Lilia Halloween, you could do um, while Dia, obviously, Lilia, while Dia, Valen, then as another combination. There's so many mage combinations you can actually slap together and they all work perfectly fine. So you can try this and understand why now, hopefully, the celestial units are better than the Vestals. And this also is a good tip if you've been watching this video so far, why you should be bringing celestial units to raids because generally in a raid you are stood still for a very long time during the in-between phases right so while you're waiting and you're dealing all the damage to the thunder rock you gain an attack you gain an attack and you can deal more and more damage compared to your friends right or your allies shall i say and then on top of this when the mechanic starts you move you dodge and guess what you move back to your spot and you're back dpsing again so another good tip why you should be bringing Celestials out more than maybe your um, Vestals. But, there is a big but, and you guys love when I say the big butts cannot lie in this uh, channel. And that is the healing, right? The thing is, when you go into free healing, it doesn't matter. You guys know that, right? It doesn't matter on the Elixir healing healing when it comes into this but when we're looking at more like the resource healing it will matter for your marches because if i just send out quickly and demonstrate the difference in healing that is what's going to cost you right so if you're trying to be a big big guy and you're personally trying to resource heal your troops you'll notice it is more expensive to do your flying marches than it is to do your Vestal units. So that is the only trade-off. You are going to get more attack, and if you do have more Celestials into your, you know, hospitals, you're going to use your free healing more often than not on those guys, but then, obviously, your resource healing is going to be a little bit up for debate. And maybe if you're a big farmer, it's not much of an issue, but that is, I'm going to be honest, a fair you know, breakdown between both units. Now, honestly, the Celestials does have an insane amount of more advantage. The fact that they deal more damage, the fact that they can fly, so if you do do that flying uh, magic combination, you're going to have a great time. But then on top of it, the healing, right? So when we go into it, we zoom in. Now we can check out the differences, as I was say, the healing looks the same through elixir healing but when you do go to the resource and you're going to notice like if we just type in one it's all four of these resources right and if we just type in the one on here you can already see it's just the one or three it's just out resources so it's very important to realize this if you are trying to run multiple celestials you are going to be eating way more resources because you're going to need all four of these bad boys in order to heal your celestials compared to just the free on your mages so that's the trade-off i hope that makes sense to you guys why the only kind of literal bad side for the celestials is the healing but apart from that i've all explained the differences between the celestials and the vestals and generally any of the other mages because if you do and if you want to just fact check me you know because people do like to do this type of stuff you can always go into the league of order faction change here and before you go through and make sure you have all of this covered you will be able to check all of the stat differences between the satyrs the vestals and obviously the nice green long leaves right so with all of that, I hope you enjoyed today's video, Celestials versus Vestals. I hope I've taught you something, and now we might see more Celestials on the battlefield, which I might be a bit more scared of. But with all of that, smash a like, comment, and subscribe, share this information about, and until the next video, guys, stay safe, stay sneaky, and peace out.